All right, PLC number four. Once again, like before, this will be in part A and part B. Basically the same rules as last time. However, this time we're gonna pick a bony fish. I've changed the rubric a little bit and what you need to do this time is really focus on a particular behavior. You're still going to tell us the fish that you picked and the behavior, but we're gonna focus more on the behavior this time and then use the fish example to sort of reinforce that. You can pick overlapping behaviors. So if two people pick coloration, for example, if you have two different fish, then that's fine. So it's okay to have the same uh, behavior that you find, but you can have different fish within there. And I'm going to uh, kind of move up the points a little bit in terms of grading other presentations there uh, for that second part. Now, rather than do an example this time, I'm gonna leave it wide open so you can pick whatever you want. But what I thought I would do is give you some, some ideas if you want. And, and so I thought of four really quick. One is sequential hermaphroditism. One's called parasitic males, bioluminescence in fish, and then all kinds of coloration ones camouflage, aposematic coloration, disrupted coloration. So those are some examples of topics that if you want, you could look into and probably find a really good idea. If you type in one of those topics in Google, along with marine fish, you'll probably find whatever you're looking for. You don't have to use one of those. I just give you some guidelines there uh, of what might be useful. If you have another behavior that you already know is interesting and you wanna go after, uh, and it's a marine fish of some sort of marine bony fish, then uh, go for it. You can do that as well. Okay, once again, put it in the comments section below on the YouTube video so that way people know what you've picked and that way we kind of make sure we have some diversity in our choices. All right, we are down close near the end. PLC number four, we've got one left, I think. Have a good day, everybody.